many more times that we have to do this. Um, we have to make sure that the next time we out here that we all the way down That's right. uh, the street here and all the way this way and all the way that way. We have to make sure we have to pledge uh, that we tell enough people to get, e get each other out here that we need every organization involved. That's right. There's no organization that, we sh that should be exempt from participating in this march. Everybody should be here. Every labor union should be involved in this. From cafeteria workers to sanitation workers. Everybody should be involved in this everywhere uh, because this march affects all of us. Anti-violence uh, organizations need to be involved. Uh, the teachers union, uh, the supervisors union, everybody, uh, the police officers union, the fire department union, every union in this city and this state should be involved in this march. There should be nobody exempt. Nobody should say, well, they didn't invite me, you invited. So if you, if you feel like you didn't get a letter, make this an open letter to you right now. You can go back and tell them that everybody is invited, every leader is invited, and, and the people from the National Action Network, they're invited, the local ones, they're invited, uh, Reverend Jefferson, all the ministers are invited, all the Muslims and the imams and every other uh, religious organization that exists, you're also invited. Please uh, come on out and participate in this. Uh, we're going to do it again, maybe a month from now. Who knows? We're going to organize and keep your ears open so you can participate. The question is, why do we need to do this? And I know there's a lot of people who've been asking me as I came down here, why are we organizing this? It doesn't seem obvious to everybody, but it should be obvious to us now how, how retrograde uh, the society has become, how, how much under attack that we've been every single day. Every day you read something in the newspaper, our governor, or I should say their governor, uh, is doing something to cut pensions, doing something to, to attack public workers, doing something to lay off public, public workers, not only in the state house, but also locally where we are. They're trying to make us pass a budget, a budget that increases taxes 7% after they increase it 16% and then ask for uh, an accelerated tax sale so they can put liens on people's homes when, when they're talking about uh, 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 maybe laying off or, or furloughing workers if we don't do these kinds of things. This is a serious uh, uh, situation that we're involved in. And in the middle of that, we're down here at this arena, the Prudential Arena, where they got Taylor Swift, who was supposed to perform today, who canceled conspicuously because they thought that we were going to be down here and they were right. They canceled Taylor Swift today. They're making millions of dollars at this arena. They're making millions of dollars that have not paid one single penny to the city of Newark in rent debt. They're, they're down here illegally. Not only are they down here illegally, we still pay overtime for police officers to, to protect people to come see Taylor Swift and everybody else, every time you see a police officer down here, your tax dollars are paying for overtime, millions of dollars in overtime for police officers to protect the people at the Prudential Arena. Now, you can't blame the, the police officers for being down here, but you have to blame the people who make the laws that allow police officers to be down here to police people who don't even live in your city and, and break millions of dollars of overtime, but lay off 160 of them at the same time.